Hamilton and I both mentioned that we're going to be doing our shows all natural. So just kind of touch on it a little bit, right? I mentioned it before in the past about being natural, but we'll kind of go in depth about it today. People ask me that all the time, you know, if I'm if I'm natural already, or if I'm gonna stay natural for my competition. So my my answer is always gonna be and always has been that I'm staying natural. And all natural means is that I'm choosing not to use any performance enhancing drugs, right? PEDs. How do I want to say this? <laughs> Well, I think there's also, so, it's a pretty controversial topic, right? and there's kind of this stigma around if you want to put yourself in a position to win, you have to take the EDs, and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think we're doing this for ourselves, yeah. more so to see where we can push our body, and we want to do it in an aftermath. So, I think that's, we have potentially a bigger hurdle in, in front of us. Yeah. Um, not saying that people who aren't natural don't work really hard. Yeah. They definitely they do. do. They do. For sure. It's just our mindset's a little different going into it. Yeah. And uh, you know, I, I don't want to compromise like my philosophy of you know what I want out of this. And your body. Yeah. To be honest, because. I work out for longevity, you know, right? Because I enjoy the lifestyle. I want to live longer, live healthier. Exactly. And my goals don't in line with you know taking performing health drugs. Um, and also, I'm not dead set on you know making IFBB pro first year, whatever. Right. So I'm doing this for me, and I want to live a long, healthy life. Yeah. I think that's a good point too. Is that. My philosophy on training is just trying to see how far I can push my body and how big I can get naturally, right? Um, so like if you're taking supplements, right? So supplements like creatine and glutamine and pre-workout and arginine and citrulline, carnitine, whatever, whatever you're taking, right? All of that is still considered being natural because all of those different supplements can be found in food. So when we talk about being natural, Right, and what separates natural supplements from performance enhancing supplements is that performance enhancing supplements and drugs you can't find in food, you can't find in nature, right? So, those are bioengineered, right, to be able to um, almost like hack your body's response to be able to build muscle and lose fat, and you know, the way you're able to do that, changing your hormone levels, changing your hormone levels, all that kind of stuff, right, which can you know lead to different types of issues down the road if you don't know how to cycle off of it correctly or if you don't cycle off of it correctly right there's a uh, a protocol when it comes to taking those things and you know coaches are really good at being able to minimize whatever risk or side effects that you might have from those but those are just risks that we just don't want to take you don't you know we don't have any interest in taking that um, so I'll explain a little bit more after this though. Just to reiterate too, I don't know everything in the fucking world, but I do know that there are risk factors that come with taking PEDs, and those are just risks that I'm not willing to take. I think part of my motivation for also doing this natural, staying natural all these years, the reason why I take so much pride in it and why it means so much to me to stay natural, right, is, again, this is my first bodybuilding competition. so. My why was just to learn a little bit more about my, my craft, right? To, to sharpen my craft as a coach. Helping people build muscle, lose fat in the most effective way possible. I've never had a coach myself or a trainer growing up. I've done everything that I've done up to this prep competition. I've done all on my own and I've learned all on my own. So taking it to that next level, that's where I decided to hire a coach which anybody else is trying to also take it to the next level, it's also best to also hire a coach so you can learn a little bit more about your body and um, how, to get, how to get results, sustainable results. You know, growing up, you know, I've always been active. I've always played sports, you know, like I had mentioned. I played soccer, I played football, I've done track. The running joke 
ever since I was about maybe 12 or 13, you know, we'll always make jokes about, oh, Apple's on steroids, Apple's on steroids. And, you know, I knew it was always a joke, but like, I didn't even know what that meant at, at the time. Like, I didn't even know what, what steroids looked like. I didn't know what it entailed. I didn't know the risk factors, but, you know, just when I was younger. So I was like, okay, like, what does that mean? And then after I started, you know, kind of doing some more research about, you know, what PEDs are, what steroids are, and I was like, I don't do that shit. Like, <laughs> so it was always a joke, you know, and after a while, it was like, okay, like, shut up. I'm not on steroids. And then it was like, almost like a compliment. I was like, okay, that's cool. Like, you think that my physique is that impressive that you think I'm on something? Then that's cool. You think that. I'm going to set the record straight. And I'm gonna always be like, no, I'm not. But if you want to keep saying it and joking around about it, then I just kind of accepted it as a compliment. You know, time and time after again, I started taking pride in being natural and just blessed with you know the genetics that I the genetics that I have, as well as the discipline that I put in ever since I was started working out at 12, 13 years old. You know, this um, 10 plus years of, of training that I've been able to get up to this point. So everybody starts somewhere, and I didn't have to use any of that to get to where I am right now.